Hey, what's going on there? This is Wayne, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to set up a Schlage Primus cylinder. First thing you're going to need is a Schlage Primus finger pinning kit. Uh, basically what this is going to do is it's going to have all your different finger pinning kits right in there and uh, different finger pins. So um, it's also going to come with sidebars like so. Uh, and basically Schlage Primus works the exact opposite way as... Um, Asa, Asa Twin 6000, an Asa V Twin. Um, basically what it does is uh, the, the Asa system works off of the sidebar being the differentiating or adjustable piece uh, to the stationary finger pins. The finger pins uh, always come up with the same pattern when the key is inserted. Um, and the sidebar and the bidding in the sidebar adjust to that. Uh, this is the exact opposite to where the sidebar has the same indentations and grooves in it, um, but the pins of the side milling, like this side milling right here, uh, adjust to the... The pins adjust to the side milling that allows the sidebar to go ahead and fall into it. Each one of these is a, is a gate. <clears throat> Each one of these pins has a gate, uh, like so. Let's see if we can show that there. That little indent is the gate, and that intersects like so. And you have five pins, that has to happen five times, along with the key pins matching as well. Now the key pins is the easy is the easy part. Uh, the key pins, they're gonna, when you order this cylinder, it's gonna come just like this with the tube in it. Uh, the top is already packed full of top pins and springs. All we need to do is assemble the lower part of this. So what we're gonna do and this for me is my favorite one. This is the CXP keyway. Uh, the reason I like this one is because you can take a standard Schleg keyway like so. This is just your standard SC4 keyway. Standard Schleg keyway, just like so. SC4. That key goes into there. Um, but your Schleg CXP will go into there as well. Uh, but it will also work with this Primus cylinder, whereas a standard Schlage key uh, will not work in the Primus cylinder. So it gives you a higher grade of security. You can take this key and you can integrate it into your common, since Schlage is the most common keyway, uh, you can integrate your common keyways and then have an extra tier of security and be able to gain the access and the, the higher security and pick resistance and, and all the security features of a high security lock without having to change the rest of the building if it's already on an SC4 keyway. So I hope that kind of all makes sense. Um, getting a little bit off track here, but uh, that's the basic idea from it. And we'll go ahead and put these away and we'll load up this Primus cylinder. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is take that and leave it alone. We're going to want to open this up. <clears throat> and these are going to come less sidebar. So the Asa system, uh, you would have to order the sidebar with it, but it's going to have the pins already, the finger pins already loaded up. Um, this will not. This will be a completely empty dead cylinder. So as we can see, as mentioned, there's an extra groove. So the Primus XP, CXP key fits into there, like so, where it says Primus. But your standard Schleg key, SC4, will not. There's an extra milling in it. So that's kind of what I was trying to explain before. Hopefully that makes sense uh, and we'll go ahead and start loading this thing up <clears throat> so the first thing we want to do is these little baby teeny tiny maybe easier pins or springs right here that is a finger pin spring so that is going to go Okay, so that's going to go like that, and so we're just loading these finger pins into here, and then slowly inserting the key to go ahead and trap them in. Um, as we move down the line. Let's see here. Okay, so we'll know 
that we have all of these in the correct place when the key is fully inserted and you can see how it's it's probably a little difficult to see but you can see how all of those gates line up if you're if your bidding is incorrect then you can see how they begin to move it will look like that if it looks like that the sidebar cannot fall in if it looks like that the sidebar can fall right into place and we test that by taking the sidebar and putting it in like so and see how it goes all the way in it goes flat that means it can go into the cylinder flat and it will rotate that's what this little thing is this comes with your slag pinning kit as well uh, this will hold your sidebar while you pin the top um, so what we need to do now is is we need to get that out of there now that we know that it's the correct one and we need to put these teeny tiny little springs these are a separate spring they're a little bit bigger well they're I guess I should say they're a little more stiff would be the correct description term for that boy these magnetized pliers sure are irritating they weren't magnetized before but I touched them to my magnetic tray and now it has ruined them okay so this is going to be our sidebar spring we're going to need two of them they're going to go on either end just like so Okay, so you can see how those sidebar springs go into there, and then the sidebar will then sit right on top, and that is what is going to hold the sidebar out. And then once again, so it should be nice and springy, spring, spring, spring in, spring out, spring in, spring out. Okay, so this is where you're going to be at when... Um, we can now insert that into here and go ahead and pin the top pins as well. Uh, so let's, and then we can take this key out and the pins won't blow out everywhere. Very nice feature. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. We'll key up the top pins and go from there. So the, the top pinning. You can cut these keys on a regular uh, Schlage key cutting card. So like your your standard the standard cutting thing like this HPC right here. Uh, you can cut the, the top bidding codes <coughs> or the top pins, the key pins, uh, right off of that. So that's just your standard. And you can use standard pins as well. Standard Schlage pins uh, will, will work in this as well. So let me put that in there. that in there <clears throat> that in there to and Okay, so now we have the sidebar fully pinned and we have the top fully pinned, so we're going to go ahead and take this out. We'll go ahead and take this out. Very carefully holding on to the sidebar or it will fly off because it is sprung now. And then we're going to insert this into here, like so. Push this follower out. And bingo. Take our key out. Here you insert it. Everything is working very well. Use our Teflon lock lubricant, high security lock. Definitely want to use dry lubricant. Do not use anything but a dry lubricant. Graphite, Teflon, lock savers, Teflon, um, that kind of stuff. Do not put any semi dry or any of that kind of stuff in here dry lubricant only and then this one is actually being all right so this is being converted from 
a um, Kia knob cylinder to a deadbolt cylinder. So we will just simply install the deadbolt cylinder tailpiece with the deadbolt ring in there and go ahead and tighten that up. We tighten and back off one. Let's see what that does with our key. If that's nice and smooth, then it's nice and smooth. Give it another shot of dry lube since it's brand new. And very good. So now the tailpiece moves. Oop. Now that will allow the tailpiece to move independently for a deadbolt. And now we have set up our Schlage Primus CXP cylinder that will allow us to use a regular Schlage key for some applications and allow us to use our high security key in any Schlage application. So for more information, check out the website below. Hey guys, it's the end of the video. Um, you know, help me out and help me help you out. Uh, right below the description box right here is a red subscribe button. Subscribe to me and then you're going to get the latest and greatest information that I put out. Sometimes it applies to you, sometimes it doesn't. Um, you know, it, it's just going to at least let you know that uh, we're putting out new and current information. And then right over here is a thumbs up button. Give me a thumbs up. Help this video uh, rank higher in the searches for the search terms that you're using and let other people be able to see this. Um, you know, that's the best way you can help. Interact. Leave a comment. I will get back with you if I can and try and help you answer your questions. But the more you interact and post this to Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and spread this through the social media, uh, the more that allows me to be able to help do more videos. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, subscribe, share, and like. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it.